Hello everyone and welcome to this wrist free practice. So sometimes it's really hard to practice yoga without putting pressure on our wrists. A lot of classes include sequences where we're putting all of our weight into our wrists and that can be really painful. So today we're going to explore not doing that, not using our wrists at all. So maybe we want to start with our legs in a wider stance, balancing our weight across both of our feet. You have our arms on our sides. Take a breath. Maybe we want to do some arm circles, inhaling up and exhaling down, inhaling up and exhaling down. You can go as slow or as fast as you like here. You can do one at a time or both. You choose. You can also alternate like halfway like this. Sometimes I find this is like a fun sort of mental challenge for me to figure out if I can get the coordination right. Maybe you want to take some big circles. Maybe some faster breaths. You can use your mouth or your nose. Sometimes it's fun to make sounds. You can shake out your arms as you do it, shake out your legs, bring in some fun movement into the body, and then we'll come to stillness. Taking a breath, noticing how your body feels differently, moving or being in stillness. We can come to plant our feet again, maybe wide enough, we'll do a fold, and this time, leaving room for the belly, an option if you want to bring your belly towards the inside when you fold. So I hinge at the hips, bringing my belly in between my legs, and then we're just going to dangle here. We're going to let our arms dangle down. So sometimes when we come to folds, we touch the blocks or the ground. And that involves putting pressure on our wrists. We don't have to do that. We can dangle. And dangling is a little more fun. There's no perfect way to do it. We can just sort of move around as our body feels. We can go from side to side. You might notice more of a stretch in your upper back when you dangle. You can also... If you want, hold your arms. Again, that is using your hands, but we're not putting a lot of pressure here. So option to do that or not. We can make big swing from side to side. Just know that your belly is probably going to hit your legs. And that's okay. And then we can slowly, gradually, as we sway, come up. So we're gradually getting higher as we're swaying from side to side. And then we can shake it out. Maybe we want to do a little twist into our body. So I like to come to that wider stance. Maybe not as wide as before, but wide enough that you can feel balanced across your feet. We can raise our hands up towards the sky. Bring them down in front. Bring them one out behind you. Look behind that back arm. And then bring it in front again. We can do the same thing on the other side. Bring it in front again. We're raising them up and then lowering them down. We can shake that out. And maybe you want to come into a warrior sequence. So warrior poses don't always involve wrists. Some of them do, some of them don't. So today we're going to do a couple variations of warrior two and warrior one that don't involve putting pressure on our wrists. So we're going to come into our mountain pose which is where our hands are down by our sides, where our feet are in a place where they feel balanced, like we can really balance our weight. We breathe, we're engaging our core, we're engaging our bum. Take a breath, and then maybe we want to take a step back. And our foot is on about a 45 degree angle. So if it's parallel, like along the line of your back line, your mat, stick your heel out a little bit. You can bend into that front knee. This one just feels comfortable. You don't have to be super bent. That feels a little awkward for you, but just have a slight bend in there. And we're looking forward. So it might feel like our hips are going out in different directions. That's normal. So don't worry about that. We'll breathe here. Maybe we want to bring our hands to our heart. Or we can have them down by our sides. Or we can raise them up. So I'm going to raise 
my front arm, which is the same arm as the leg that's in front. So this is my left side, so I'm lifting my left arm. So same arm, and the same out arm and back at shoulder level, looking over those front fingertips. Here, we can just flip, flipping that front palm, leaning into it, and then raising it up towards the sky, at the same time lowering that back arm down. And when I do this, I tend to lean a little bit more into that front leg. So if that feels good, you go for that extra lean in that front leg. Option to look up. Taking a breath. We can lower our hands back down to warrior again. Warrior two. And then option to come onto that front forearm. So bringing that front forearm down to your front thigh, raising the other arm up. Breathing here. And then we can come back. Again, for that warrior two pose, this time maybe we want to bring our hands down. We keep our legs in this position, looking forward, raising our arms up in front, above our head for our warrior one. And here we lean into that front leg, and this is a warrior one pose. Option here, if you want, you can stay here. Or you can turn that back toe a little bit towards the front. Whoop. Fall over a little. And then option to bend that back knee for a little bit of a lunge. And this can become a crescent lunge. Now, if you're like, lunges are the worst, I hate them. Don't worry, I also hate them. You could do this with one foot up on a chair as well. And then maybe bend that back knee or not. So that's another option. I love doing warrior stuff on chairs. This takes a lot of pressure out of the knees. So we're in that optional lunge or our warrior one. And then we bring our hands down. We bring our feet in. We cut back in mountain pose. We take a breath here. And we'll start on the other side. So I'm going to turn around again so I'm facing the camera and I don't you know, just see my back. But you can just use the other side of your body. We're in our mountain, we're taking a breath. Option to take that opposite foot back. And again, check your foot placement. Is it parallel? Option to come out onto that 45 degree angle and then bend into that front knee. And the distance between your legs doesn't really matter. If your feet are close together, that's fine. If they're further apart, also fine. And here again, remembering our hips feel like they're going out different ways. Totally all good. We can have take a breath with our hands at our heart center or on our hips. And then option to come into that warrior two where we lift up our hands. The front arm is the same arm as the leg. Taking your breath. Then we can lower down into that front arm. We're raising the opposite arm up, looking up. Breathing. And then coming back to that warrior two. Often to flip that front palm, raise it up, lower it down. <laughs> we just did these in the opposite order that we did before. That's totally fine. It doesn't matter. There's no perfect way to do yoga. The perfect way to do yoga is actually to really just think about what your body needs and listen to it. And then come back for a word or two again. And then we have that option of turning our hips to face the front, lowering our hands down for a second. And we can raise up our hands in front for our warrior one. Taking a few breaths here. And then maybe, maybe you want to explore turning that foot so that it faces the same direction. They're both facing in front. And option to bend that knee down for that crescent lunge. And again, if you feel terrible, go for the chair. Or you don't have to do it. You can stay in that warrior one position which also feels really good on the body and has a lot of benefits. So if lunges are not your thing, don't worry about it. Wherever you are, we'll come back out of it. We'll step together. We'll try taking a breath in our mountain pose. Coming back together, maybe we want to take a few arm circles again. And then we can shake that out. Shake out your feet and do any other movements that feel good here. 
I want to thank everyone so much for this practice. Hopefully you enjoyed exploring movement without your wrists. And I'll see you again soon.